many raisins. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh -huh. <sighs> I just love it when Village Fair comes around. Everyone makes all these yummy treats and we get to eat. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna make a mushroom pie today. What are you guys gonna make? Oh! <gasps> Dad, oh. what kind of treat are we making for the village fair? What do we have in here? Aha! Pup. Yeah! My specialty is a big raisin muffin. My granny used to make them for me many years ago. Ha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get to baking already. Ah. White flour. Achoo. Cup of milk. Two large eggs. Ooh. Well, what do you know? We're out of raisins. So no muffin. We can't just stop in the middle. No, we're going to finish our muffins. We got this. We will ask to borrow some raisins. Uh, oh. Hmm. 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 Good morning, Ouch. Lizzie. Hmm. Hello. Could you lend us some raisins for our raisin muffins? Pretty please. Uh, raisins? Uh-huh. Hmm. They're on the bottom shelf, Lizzie. Oh! Some walnuts? Some cinnamon? Oh! Ooh! Our missing mixer part. And there. Whoa. Lizzie, we'll help you out, okay? Let us help. <gasps> oh. Uh. <gasps> Hooray! It's all fixed. <laughs> <laughs> now my mom can make something extra special for the fair. Thanks for your help. Sure thing, Lizzie. Bye. <laughs> oh, Zoe, we forgot about the raisins we were going to borrow. Oh, yeah. Well, never mind. Maybe we can go ask Gray. I mean, it's too late to go back now. Good morning, Ms. Wolf. Good morning. Gray, watch that dough until I get back, please. Uh-huh. So, Gray, we were wondering if we could borrow some raisins. Gotcha. Whoa, Gray, look. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. Fear not. We'll dough. I mean, we'll show that dough who's the boss here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Hmm. Ooh. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Phew. Now I can make all kinds of pies with my mom. Thanks, you guys. Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we forgot all about the raisins again. Uh, Nick lives over there. Let's ask him. There we go. Hey there, Nick. Zoe and I were wondering if you could lend us some raisins for some muffins we're making. Hi there. Sure I can. <laughs> hmm. Oh, are you making sugar cookies for the fair? Uh-huh. But my icing's not coming out very good at all. <gasps> we, we can, can help, help you out, out Nick. Nick. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <gasps> See? It's easy when you get the hang of it. Hey, thanks, you guys. Think nothing of it, my friend. We are more than happy to lend a hand. <laughs> We'll see you later at the fair, Nick. Da -de -da -de. Oh. <laughs> wow, smushing that dough was fun. So was fixing Lizzie's mixer, right? And Nick's cookie frosting was so yummy. Well, kids, did you bring the raisins? Oh, no! We helped all of our friends out, but now we can't make our muffins. No raisin muffins for the fair. Hmm. Ah, who needs raisins anyhow? We'll make a new recipe. We'll use dried cranberries. This will be a whole new muffin experience. Whoa. I was going to suggest it to you earlier, 
but you both ran out so quickly. Oh, boy. A whole new recipe. Huh? You forgot your raisins. I got your raisins. Did somebody ask for raisins? Whoa, that's Hooray! awesome. Hooray! Thanks, everyone. A real, true friend will never leave you without raisins. I have a feeling this might be too many raisins for our muffin recipe. Oh! Mm. So, what's this called? A raisin pie. Have some. And that? We call it Raisin Punch. Hey, what's this? <laughs> Yummy Raisin Jam. <laughs> Raisiny. This is a real raisin party. And it's, it's also, also a friendship, friendship party. <laughs> a spring miracle. <laughs> Do you feel it, Bo? <laughs> I guess. It's wet and really cold. <laughs> Springtime is here. The best time of the year. <gasps> oh. Hello! <gasps> My mommy and I were in the woods, and you know what we saw? A springtime miracle! A miracle? No way! We could use a spring miracle. Show us, Michael. <laughs> Come on, hurry! <laughs> Michael, is it a great big miracle? It's lots of tiny little miracles all put together to make one giant one. Look! Ooh. That's amazing! Cool! Yes, a miracle. They're called snowdrops. Spring's messengers! Just look at them. They're so pretty. Yeah, and so white. The same color as snow, aren't they? Right, Bo. And flowers that can grow through the snow are a miracle. These blossoms are very rare. One shouldn't pick them. Huh? Michael, thank you for showing this beautiful miracle to us. My, we've been walking for a long time. Let's venture home. It truly is a miracle. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, well. Maybe we should share this miracle with Mom. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa. <laughs> Mom, we're home. <laughs> Here. <gasps> no, no, no. My little flower. My miracle. Did it die? What? You picked the snowdrops? Now they won't ever grow back. You should never have picked them, Bo. But snowdrops are the messengers of spring. And if none of them ever grow back, then spring might not ever come. It will. We just have to make sure nobody else picks them. <sighs> <gasps> Bo! Kids, where are you going? Chasing miracles! <laughs> Dear me, this certainly is a pity. Who tore these snowdrops out? It was me. I did it. And now they won't ever, ever grow again. I'm gonna stand right here and guard the rest of them. I'm not leaving here and I won't move till springtime. Huh. If it ever comes again... Then you'll need some help. Stay right here. <sighs> I'll help you, Bo. There. Good. There's another. I'll 
count them. <sighs> There's one, two, three, four. <sighs> Boy, I wish I could go home and have lunch. I'm hungry. Go have a bite. You've been working so hard watching over these flowers. But you need to eat sometime, Bo. I wish I could go, but I can't go. Here, Bo. Have a bite. How will I watch my flowers at night? What do you think so? Will Mom let me bring my bed all the way here? Mm -hmm. There you are. I heard all about the big spring miracle. <laughs> so I decided to come out and see it for myself. Look, see? It's a whole bunch of miracles. Yes, aren't they lovely? But over here are the miracles I ruined. Bo, someone left these snowdrop bulbs in our yard. Do you know where they came from? Huh? If you bury them in the soil, we'll have lots of flowers when the spring comes. Hooray! Hooray! Spring, spring is, is coming. coming! There you go, darling. <laughs> you see, Bo? <laughs> There's no need to be sad after all. Everything can be fixed. You stay right here and make sure no one picks any more flowers. Huh? Spring came after all, and next spring, we'll all have even more miracles. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Tandem! Good morning, Lizzie. Those guys are flying their kite over there. Well, I'm assembling a tandem. Huh? A bicycle for two. Could you hand me the steering wheel? Okay. Okay. Makar, that wheel is for a boat. Well, I think this one looks kind of cool. Hmm, interesting. But the bicycle was invented before, so we're just assembling it. Hmm. Invented, huh? But I came up with something more interesting. But you shouldn't do that. Just follow the drawing. Who says I have to? But this is the right way. These are the rules. I was only trying to help. Honest. But you didn't help. You got in the way. Are you two fighting? Hurry up and be friends again. We're gonna fly our kite. Makar started it, so he should say sorry. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! What do you think we should do? I've got a plan. Hmm. Ah. Hello, Lizzie. I just composed a brand new poem. I was gonna recite it for everyone, but then I thought you'd probably do it better. Hmm. I'll give it a try. It's fun to spend time with your friends every day, for friends are so special and dear. <laughs> if I do say so, this idea is brilliant. Lizzie will recite Gray's friendship poem, Makar will hear it, and then he'll be Lizzie's friend again. Hello, Lizzie. I really need to say this to you. I didn't really mean... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and if your friend, perchance, is very busy, and you get in their way and cause a tizzy. <gasps> huh. I'll show her. Hmm. Now, I'm never going to say I'm sorry. Hmm. Wait, come back, Makar. It's not about you. <clears throat> Makar, uh, could you help me? I need a group portrait for the exhibition. What do you say? <gasps> Makar will finish the portrait, and Lizzie and him will be next to each other. Aha! Then we'll see it and be good friends once more. <sighs> we'll pose for the portrait, and the ones who aren't in it will use a photo. Okay? Well, I guess we could try it. Hmm. Huh? And here, 
Makar, I'm... I'm sorry that I was so mean to you before, but... Uh, whoa! <gasps> you... You ruined my face! How mean! Lizzie! Hmm? <laughs> Makar, are you and Lizzie gonna be friends again now? Yeah, we've been trying to get you two to make up. With a poem. And a portrait. But that's not gonna work. We're the ones who had the fight. Hmm. And we're the ones who have to make up. Uh... Huh? <gasps> Whoa, sure is some bicycle you've got there. Isn't it hard to pedal by yourself? No, Mr. Keratin. It's not hard. Well, okay. But it isn't very fun. If I had a friend, maybe. Enough! It's time for me to make up with Makar. Huh? Now, I'll make up with Lizzie. Makar! Are those bees attacking? I'm coming! <sighs> What's the matter, Lizzie? Hop on quick! Lean on the pedals! But why? To get away from those mean bees! I saw you weaving your hands so I... Ah! <laughs> I didn't see any bees. Ah! <laughs> you know, I was going to see you. <gasps> Wow, I was just going to see you. Let's make up. <laughs> I kind of got in the way while you were building your bike. Sorry, Lizzie. Well, I think if bikes were invented a long time ago, there's always room for improvements, right? I don't think they're coming. We've got to launch it soon, or there won't be any more wind left. <sighs> You can attach it to our bicycle, or should I say our tandem? Are you two friends again? You, you bet, bet we are! Hooray! <laughs> A new winter game. Grandpa, can we play hockey now? Of course you can, Nick. Just finish sweeping it off. Be careful. Have fun. Thank you. Game time. <laughs> hey, Lizzie. Hey, Gray. How come you don't have your hockey sticks? How are we going to play a game? We thought instead. We try figure Whoa. skating. <laughs> That's all fine and stuff, but hockey comes first. Wait a sec. We got here the same time as you guys. Why can't we have the ice rink first? This ice is here to stay. Everyone will have plenty of time. Okay, everyone. We'll solve this with a game. Whoever guesses which hand has the puck, they get the rink first. Hmm. <clears throat> <sighs> you go first. Nice. <sighs> we can play once you guys are finished here. Uh-huh. Hang on! Yeah, I guess they are pretty good, huh? Uh-huh. <gasps> Time's up! Oh, man. We were just getting to the good part. It's time to play hockey! <laughs> huh? Come on, come on, come on, score! This will be the best goal ever! Oh, come on! You can't be serious! This 
whole thing just isn't working. Yeah, true. It's a big pond. There should be enough space for everyone. Okay, how about we share? Have seats? Oh, yeah, that works. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, watch it! Oh my. <laughs> huh? Like fun. Wait, we lost someone from our team, see? <sighs> this is not working. Poor Mr. Carradin cleared the pond for nothing. I just wish there was a way we could share the pond. Are you sure you don't want to play hockey? Mm-mm. You wouldn't be interested in figure skating with us, would you? Hmm? Huh? <sighs> Grandpa, what should we do? You worked so hard cleaning it off. If only everyone could find a way to skate. Together. Hmm. Oh! Hey, guys, look! Huh? I think I know what we can do! Whoa! Whoa! You've invented some new kind of cool game. Our very own special kind of winter sport. Something like mountain sledding, hockey, and figure skating. <laughs> That's the spirit, buddy. We can always come up with creative solutions if we try. Can your grandpa give it a go? <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Well, goodness. Hello? Uh, where'd Mr. Carradin go? How sweet was that trick? Till he disappeared. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. I called dibs on the first round of this game. I'm down. Let's go. Hooray! New sport! <laughs> <laughs> no solution like a snow solution. <laughs> 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 Trouble for Timmy. <laughs> so, Bo, what's up? Come see. He's a bear who says his name. Look! Ooh, neat. Snowy, Angela, hi, Timmy. Nice to meet you. You're the coolest bear ever. Do you think Timmy might be hungry? Yeah, we should probably get Timmy some bear food. Uh-huh. How about some cereal for you? Oh, my. <laughs> Good boy, Timmy. Now Timmy wants to turn on the swings. <laughs> ha! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, check it out, guys. That tree is walking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> What's this huge thing? This here is our brand new orange tree. Gonna bring it over to our house. Ooh. How neat! A real life orange tree! <laughs> Am I allowed to eat an orange right now? Sure thing. Though we should probably wash it off first. Uh huh. <laughs> Help me bring it home. <laughs> Come back! We forgot Timmy! So, have you two finished all your homework? Not yet! 
Uh, just a sec. Uh... <sighs> Should we leave him alone out here? No, he'll get all wet. We should take him back home with us and give him back later. Good idea. <laughs> there. Carefully. <laughs> all aboard the bear train. Magic Express. Chicka, 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 chicka. Let's go, friend. Time to get you back to Angela and Snowy. Hey! Not yet. I'll give it back. No, me! Hmm. How can we return him now? There must be a way to fix him. Oh! Nice. <gasps> so this isn't working. Now Angela and Snowy are never going to play with us ever again. What would happen if we just didn't tell them that we brought Timmy home with us? Uh -huh. Hmm. Um. Uh-huh. Hi. Hello, Mrs. Sheep. What are you doing over here? Yoga. Would you like to try? Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. That was fun. Okay, see you later. Any time. <laughs> Zo, go. Any chance you guys have seen Timmy? Uh. Uh. Look, he's right there. <laughs> ah, <A> bear! <gasps> uh. Aw, somebody must have come along and ripped off his hat after we left him out here. Oh, man! And he's stained with modeling clay, too! You think it's because they tried to fix him? They only made him look worse! <gasps> Does he want a new hat from a leaf? He doesn't. Plus, it's got worms in it. How about a helmet for him? Now he's like a knight. No, thanks. That's not really his personality. Hmm. Poor Timmy used to be cute, and now this. Yeah, we should have never left him all alone outside. <sighs> it's our fault this happened. What? We tried to save him from the rain, but then... We tore his hat off. We're sorry, guys. And the clay was also us. We didn't want to tell you about it. Huh? We know that you probably don't want to be friends with us now. So, Bo, don't worry about that. We'll always be great friends no matter what. And actually, Timmy says a helmet looks pretty cool too. <laughs> hmm, there must be a way to solve this. Miss Sheep, can we have some thread? Why, yes, of course. I always have some with me. This is such a great idea. I know, he totally likes it. Timmy looks the most handsome he's ever looked. And a hat to top it off. Uh. <laughs> uh. 